this is Roger, thanks for dropping by. Welcome to another 2023 Project Orchids video. This is the last video of the eight orchids for the two month period, video four basically. Um, we will then move into videos five for the eight orchids starting next Friday and those will be the last summing up videos for the year basically, so they'll be different. I haven't worked out quite how yet, but I will. <laughs> Next week I've got a quieter week than this week. Apologises, uh, mouth won't work. See, no coffee again. Uh, I've got a lot on. Um, and apologies for lack of orchid type stuff until later. And that's just how it's got to be. I've got bare rooted plants and I'm going to spend a lot of today actually planting outside providing it doesn't rain, of course. Um, so the work is being done on the gardening side of life at the moment as a short burst of activity that will be over very quickly and we get back to normal on the orchids. That's just how it has to be. It's no different to if bare-rooted orchids are, you know, were delivered. I'd have to get on and pop them up, wouldn't I? So it's the same sort of thing. Anyway, uh, this is orchid number eight. Um, it will be vid number four and it's our two symbidiums so let's get the camera off the tripod and take a look okay so orchid number eight is in fact two orchids and the story behind that exists in the previous videos um, but basically a, a single orchid was bought turned out to be two different ones so they were potted up separately as part of the set of orchids uh, set of videos for um, orchid number eight which now needs an s in there somewhere so anyway last time we looked at these this is the um <laughs> the usurper the, the one that i didn't actually buy i ended up with as a consequence of two different orchids going in the same pot. And last time we looked at this, we had a new growth pushing on nicely and had yet to form its bulb. Well, it's certainly done that. It's produced a nice plump bulb. Chances are that will carry on swelling and get a bit bigger. But what we have now is a nice spike. So this one is going to bloom. I did debate in the last video that if it tried to bloom, would I let it? Well, given two big strong bulbs, the plant thinks it's strong enough to bloom, so we'll let it go ahead. So that's that one. Now the Cymbidium copper was doing a similar thing in as much as the new bulb, which is covered in oak leaves. They, well, everything in the garden is covered in oak leaves. That's the nature of having a huge oak tree in next door's garden that I can't do anything about. Anyway, the new growth that was pushing on last time has matured nicely, got a nice big plump bulb. And in addition to that, we had two other new growths that were starting late in the season. Well, this one's pushing on okay. Hopefully it will carry on growing and the other one's tucked away in here, which again is, is growing. They've progressed a reasonable amount, but it's not a huge amount, given that's two months worth of growth. But nonetheless, that these two growths are both on the oldest part of the plant. They are, in fact, on the oldest bulb, both of them. They're on this little old bulb here. And what I think's happened is the plant has disregarded this bulb so this bulb has sort of become a back bulb in as much as it's propagating and it's produced two new growths as back bulbs are inclined to do quite well on cymbidiums. They, they do that very well in fact. But on this current year's growth, the main one, we do have a spike and that's probably the only spike we're going to get this time round. But next time round, hopefully these two new growths will have matured, yeah? And, no, I mean next time round, I mean next year. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth won't work. Next year, these two growths should have matured and produced bulbs that will then produce new growths. This one should produce at least one new growth. So this is going to be quite a big plant into next year with its new growths from the size of the plant it will be come springtime. 
So that's where we are. They're both going to bloom. You've got an acorn in this pot. <laughs> yeah, so we've got spikes on both of them. They will both bloom. And I have a decision as to when these come back indoors. Not yet. And now, if you take tonight, for example, the, you know, the weather forecast says, oh, and it's going to be a chilly, chillier night than, you know, the last few days, we, we may well get down into single figures. That's not a problem. The problem is when we start getting into lower single figures and there is a possibility of a frost threatened. Now, these two are protected to a degree because they're on the bottom shelf of my bonsai staging. Um, you know, the, the, the latest growths have matured and produced their spike. <laughs> That's the end of the requirement for environmental factors to deal with these to get them to bloom. They're already doing it, so that's already been done. That's worked fine, so to speak. So uh, there is a decision when the cymbidiums are going to come in and the nights are not cold enough yet, but they could be very soon and it can happen in a day. So if you've got cymbidiums outside with no protection, nothing over them in any shape or form, Watch those weather forecasts, watch those night temperatures in whatever location you're in if there is a possibility of getting a frost as we move into October it becomes far more likely. Yeah, It only needs a northerly direction airflow coming down from Iceland and all that stuff up there where all the ice and snow are. We get a northern, northerly L airflow and a still night that has no cloud cover, whatever heat was there during the day will just be gone. And that's when those temperatures drop like a stone. So take care. That is the most important thing with outside cymbidiums at this point in the season. Watching out for those night temperatures to drop. Down to six or seven degrees is probably okay. But any lower than that, mine are coming in. <laughs> So there we go, that's these two, and that's the end of um, series four, the video number fours are all now all done, and next Friday we will move on to video number five, starting at orchid number one again, and it will be the last one in the set for each of the orchids, where we sum up what's happened to these throughout the year, yeah, and that will also complete the individual playlists for those orchids. So each playlist will have the five videos or whatever it is. So uh, there we go, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.